Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now today I'm going to be talking about why the flicking rig catches so many bass. Now I just got introduced to, introduced to this uh, a couple weeks ago. I did a FLW co-angler tour on the Delta and my second day pro had on a flicking rig. I've seen the wacky rig where it's weightless and that makes sense because most things don't fall head first into the water when they fall in the water they kind of flutter horizontal so that makes sense but with a jig in on it and a weight just like this I mean you, you would think the guy is, doesn't know what he's doing and has just some weird thing hooked up and it's never going to catch bass but it catch I've never had a pro in front of my boat uh, this is my first time as a co-angler but he was pretty much a vacuum with this thing he caught 21 pounds and he caught just fish out of fish in front of me using this flicking rig when I was actually just flipping a regular Texas hooked brush hawk but it made me think, why would something like this catch bass? Well, I started thinking about it from the bass perspective, and what I'm thinking is a lot of predators, like a crawdad or something, which the bass probably thinks this little jig head is, will go up to the top of the reeds or some brush and they'll, they'll try and capture things. And if they do capture something, they're going to drop and fall with it down to the bottom, which is what this looks like as it's falling through the water column. And most predators that grab a worm or a fish something, They'll grab it in the middle because they have easier control of it. If they get on the head or the tail, it's wiggling around and it's hard. So as it's falling, it looks very natural and looks like, first off, something that's distracted because there's a life and death struggle going on with these two. And it gives the bass the advantage. They're distracted, easy meal, we'll come out and get it. Then when it hits the bottom and you start doing the little flicking of the rod tip and making this thing, you know, move like this, to me what I'm seeing is this thing's hit the bottom with it and it's trying to drag it away to somewhere safe so it can eat it. So when it's on the ground, it's doing this little flicking. Again, the bass sees something that's distracted, a life and death struggle. He has the advantage, easy meal, and it's a twofer. He's not only getting the predator that caught the prey, but the prey too. So it's a really good technique, and it does the two things that bass want in order to feed. Something that's distracted and an advantage. So if you take this and understand this concept, start taking it to a lot of your other rigs, a lot of your other lures, and realize to present in a way that it looks distracted and the bass, bass has an advantage, you probably catch yourself a lot more bass and probably a lot bigger bass. I hope this helps. Until next time.